Hello all, Simon Tui here, brand ambassador for Dilmar. I have got an amazing dish for you, bringing you back old school, the beautiful cauliflower, cutting it into a steak. And I am using the relief tea from the new Arana range of Dilmar. This is a fantastic tea. I'm pairing this gorgeous dish with this tea and it has things like Dilma's beautiful, highest of quality green tea with black pepper, some soursop leaves, it's got moringa, it's got ginger, it's got turmeric, it's got curry leaves, all put into one. Without any further ado, I'm gonna start by cutting my cauliflower into a steak and letting that sit aside. On the other side, I got a pan on some heat. I'm putting in some cumin seeds and some fenugreek seeds, and we're gonna toast those up until they're nice and smoky, roasty, toasty flavors. Super, super delicious. Always important to toast your spices first. Put that to the side to let them cool, and then back in that pan, we're going to make our marinade and that is going to get painted on the cauliflower steak when we're cooking it. In a pan on medium heat I'm going to be adding my chili, my garlic and my ginger. I'm going to get that to become all aromatic and soften and go a little translucent and when that's happened add in your jaggery and your tamarind and then your tea. The most important part bringing it up to temperature. You don't really want this to boil because as soon as you boil you're gonna ruin those wonderful aromats in this tea. When you've got that consistency, strain it through a strainer, push all the extra liquid out from the tea bag and from the ginger and garlic and chili, and then you should have a little bowl of this beautiful glaze or marinade you're gonna paint onto your cauliflower later on. Set it to the side. Now it's time for our beautiful sauce. Chop up some garlic and chop up some onion and put that in a pan with a bit of oil again. Get that nice and caramelized, throw in some ginger. Once you get color from those three things, add your spices that you toasted off at the start. Then, a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Stir that around, get those spices again warmed up. Finally, putting in your tomatoes. Cook that out until it's all bubbled away and warm and it looks amazing. Give it a taste, add some salt, give it a taste, maybe a touch of sugar if it needs it. Take it off the heat, put it in a blender, whiz it up until nice and smooth and then let that cool. Finally, we're gonna jump onto our cauliflower. We've made our steak beautifully. Put that, again, with a little bit of oil in a pan, straight in. Turn it over, and then get that gorgeous sauce that you made at the start, and a paintbrush, or a pastry brush, or even just a spoon is fine too. And then layer it over the top, paint it on, or wipe it on. Turn the cauliflower over gently. You don't wanna break any of the florets off the main stem. And then paint it again and then turn it and then paint it again and keep going until you get a beautiful color across it. And you can keep an eye on it. Once your cauliflower is done, take it off, put it on a board to let it rest, clean the pan, put it back on the heat, add a bit more oil and then fry off some beautiful curry leaves. Once they're done, put that on some sort of maybe some baking paper or some paper towel just to soak up all that excess oil. You don't want it to be too oily. Put a beautiful spoon of sauce, that red sauce that you made at the start, onto your plate as much as you like. Lay the cauliflower over the top, sprinkle on those curry leaves, finish with a little bit of salt, add a drizzle of nice peppery olive oil, and you, my friends, are done. That right there is a gorgeous dish using Dilma's Arana Range Relief Tea, pairing with wonderful pan-fried cauliflower, gorgeous rich tomato sauce, and some fried curry leaves. Enjoy.